In previous tutorials, I explained already how works scratches tools, imperfection, breakup and curvature tools as well. In this tutorial, we will have look on roughness tool. Roughness tool is a complex tool which contains combination of all mentioned tools. And as you can see, it contains three parts. First part of this tool are scratches. Second part is imperfection pattern and imperfection breakup. Third part is curvature and curvature part contains selection input as well. For even more control as usual, we are using max and noise nodes. Scratches pattern noise can control scratches scale or offset if you need different shape of scratches. Scratches selection noise works as pattern breakup or if you need scratches just on certain places of objects. And as usual, every selection input can be controlled by max and noise, but with any other selection tool as well. Imperfection pattern noise controls how much distorted is imperfection pattern. Radius variation noise controls curvature breakup. And if you need, as I mentioned already, you can control curvature selection input as well. Important part of roughness tool is roughness range. Roughness range is controlled by scalar ramp node. Here you can define roughness values. On the left side of the ramp, you have control over minimum roughness value, and on the right side of ramp, you have control over maximum roughness value. Roughness tooled output, you will connect into the standard material input of reflection roughness. Or if you would like to use this output for referencing roughness input of other materials, you can plug it into the surface output instead. Roughness tools contains also dedicated outputs for scratches, imperfection, breakup, and curvature. So you can use these outputs if you need layers separation or any other custom operation. Now we will have look on some practical example. In this example, I will use model, which I purchased on Turbosquid. This scene contains our roughness tool and model with standard texture stat. As you can see, there are standard textures such as diffuse, metalness, roughness, normal map, and ambient occlusion. But as you can see, final result is very clean and contains very low amount of imperfection. And if I will zoom in, now is it even more obvious? But what in case when I need to add some extra details or if I need to generate some imperfection for this model? In this case, you can use our roughness tool. So as first step, I can copy roughness tool into the field of this material, or I can reference its output instead. In my case, I like to have organized material structure, so I will use reference node. As I explained already in tips and tricks tutorial, if you would like to reference some tool or even entire material, you have to assign it into the reference node. And as next step, I will connect it into the roughness input of standard material. And because our tools work partly as smart tools, as you can see it immediately provides different looking result. Now I have additional details, scratches, imperfection and curvature breakup directly on this object. And in roughness tool, I have full control over look of all these elements. Also, I have control over roughness range, which allows me to control also visibility of these elements. Because wider roughness range you are using, more visible are details of these elements. And if I will narrow this range, as you can see, final result is more subtle. And that's huge difference between roughness tool and standard roughness texture. With roughness tool, you have full control over all individual elements and its placement, visibility, or breakup. So you can easily create amount of imperfection exactly as you need. Result depends just on your artistic skills.